Qatar takes a leading role as the foreign minister visits Iran to push for nuclear talks. Great news for tourism in Qatar as authorities extend the Haya card validity. Could using Google too much be bad for you? Stick around for more. And finally, the Qatar Cup returns after a short hiatus in 2022. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar's foreign minister, Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani, delivered a crucial message to Iran this week. The Qatari official spoke to his counterpart in Tehran, delivering a message from parties involved in the nuclear deal after months of stalemate. Sheikh Mohammed urged all parties to return to the table in a bid to revive the historic nuclear deal. It comes as tensions run high between Iran and Western powers, amid rumors that a Tehran sent drones to Russia for use in the Ukraine crisis. Now, Haya card holders can continue to enjoy Qatar for a whole year. Authorities on Monday announced an extension to the validity of the Haya card, allowing holders to enter Qatar until 24th of January 2024. However, there are a set of rules that come with the perk, one of which includes having proof of hotel reservation or accommodation with family or friends that is approved through the online Haya portal. While no official reason was given for the extension, it comes after popular demand to allow family and friends to enter the country in a bid to continue a boost in tourism. A health expert in Qatar says excessive reliance on Google can weaken your memory. Jamil Bubbly, director of Neuroscience Research Center Doha said that in the previous century individuals relied on their memory but now Uncle Google is readily available to retrieve any information. This is causing a digital amnesia with some 30% of people forgetting an online fact shortly after obtaining it. And finally, after a mini break due to the 2022 FIFA World Cup last year, the Qatar Cup is set to return with a bang. The top four teams of last season, QSL champions Al Said, Al Duhail, Al Arabi and Al Wakra will take part in the knockout competition. Defending Qatar Cup champions Al Said will take on Al Arabi while beaten finalists Al Duhail will clash against Al Wakra with the final to be held on April the 6th. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.